And there were other factors which affected the project's duration, and I will list some of them. Firstly, disruption of the international supply chains due to COVID-19 pandemic, which caused shipping delays and resulted in the late arrival of the houses by approximately two months. Number two, increase in freight costs due to oil prices and war, and I mentioned that earlier. Three, the unavailability and dramatic cost increase of containers for global shipping. As a result, the project was affected by a four times increase in the price of shipping containers from $5,000 per container to $20,000 per container. Yet another externality. Four, legal issues surrounding the rights to the lands occupied by a significant number of Hurricane Elsa clients, which resulted in considerable delays or the abandonment of some locations as project sites. Five, the construction of foundations and infrastructure were slowed by heavy unseasonal rains, particularly during the excavation phase of the works. Six, the short supply of local construction labor as a result of the construction boom here in Barbados severely handicapped the work. In total, ladies and gentlemen, project overruns from factors outside the scope of the ministry, it amounted to $12.175 million. Expenditure from change in the scope of, of the project is some $6.995 million. The total additional project costs has been calculated at $19.17 million.